Welcome to our city guide video. In this video, I will show you interesting places you can visit in Brno, Czech Republic in one day. Let's get started. Brno is the second largest city in the Czech Republic after the Prague and the largest city in Moravia region. We start in the central part of the city. The city center of Brno is home to many popular attractions and we are approaching our first, the Vegetable Market Square. The Vegetable Market in Brno is a colorful place. It's filled with the freshest produce from the local farms. Every morning, farmers from the surrounding areas gather to sell their wares to eager shoppers looking for the best deals and the highest quality fruits and vegetables. Now we are looking at the Parnes Fountain. It is one of the most notable water fountains and baroque architectural monuments in Brno. The Holy Trinity column was built in 1729 in the upper part of the square. Near the column you can also see statues of Saint Primitiva and Saint Constantine. The new town hall is located on Dominican Square in a complex of baroque buildings that originally served the needs of the Moravian Regional Administration. The Freedom Square is the main square of the Brno located in its historical part and has a triangular shape. Many events take place there throughout the year, such as Christmas markets, festivals, the Easter and the New Year celebrations. The St. James's Church is a late Gothic free nave church situated in James Square, whose history dates back to the beginning of the 13th century. The church has also been a national cultural monument since 1995 and has the status of a parish church. The St. Thomas Church is located on the Moravian Square and was founded in the middle of 14th century. The Capuchin Crypt is located beneath the Capuchin Monastery and is home to the mummified remains of dozens of monks who lived and died in the monastery. In front of us we can see the Cathedral of St. Peter and Paul. The Cathedral of St. Peter and Paul is a Roman Catholic cathedral located on the Petrov Hill and is one of the most important architectural monuments in South Moravia. The interior of the cathedral is mostly in Baroque style, while the impressive exterior with two 84 meter high towers is in a neo-Gothic style. By the way, a funny fact is that you can also find the cathedral on the Czech 10 crown coin. Near the cathedral located capuchin terraces where you can relax a little bit and enjoy the city view and view of the cathedral. Let's have a look. In the distance we can see the Spielberg castle where we are going straight away. And we finally arrived at Spielberg Castle. The castle offers stunning views of the city and its surroundings, making it an ideal spot for a 360 degree panoramic view of Brno. Let's have a look at the city from one of the viewing terraces. Originally, Spielberg was constructed in the 13th century as a royal castle and it also played a crucial role in the defense of the city during numerous wars and conflicts. 
One of the highlights of the castle is the casemates, a series of underground tunnels and chambers that were used as a prison and torture hole during the castle's time as a military fortress. In 1783, Emperor Joseph II decided to turn part of the Spielberg into a prison for the enemies of the monarchy, create the most difficult conditions for prisoners there, and the fortress remained so for a long time. For a prison, casemates were most suitable, which had previously served as a warehouse for military materials. In the 1855, Spielberg became a barracks and remained so until 1959. Mahen feature was built in 1882. It was one of the first public buildings in the world to be entirely lit with electric light. And here we end our explorations of the city of Brno. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like the video if you did enjoy it. And check out our other interesting city guide videos. Bye bye!